Hello everybody, this is Kianda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In today's video, I have Sonoff SNZB02 Zigbee sensor. I will have a look at it, set it up to see how it works. SNZB02 is a Zigbee low energy temperature and humidity sensor. Using this device, you can monitor temperature and humidity of your environment in real time and then create a smart scenes to trigger other devices such as humidifier or fan. Using Zigbee devices, a hub is necessary. In this video, I use Son of Zigbee Bridge as a hub. If you do not know how to use this device, or let's say how to pair this device with Evelink app, watch this video. Let's start with unboxing the device and then pairing this device with Evelink app. Before that, I thank Seper Manavar Group and Artman Company for supporting me to make this video, especially Mr. Noruzi. This is Sonoff SN ZB02. Let's unbox it. In the box, we have the device, the sensor, product qualification, quick user manual 3m adhesive tape for installing the device while installing the device do not mount it on metal surface otherwise it will affect wireless communication distance let's pair son of zigbee temperature and humidity sensor with evelink app for installing remove the back cover Take out the installation sheet. Putting the back cover in its place. Pay attention that these signs must be opposite of each other. This is the reset button. Here we have an LED indicator. The device is ready to be paired with Evelink app. This is the Zigbee page. Access Evelink app. Select the bridge that you want to connect. Tap on add to add a sub device. The bridge is in pairing mode. While the bridge is in pairing mode, press the reset button on the temperature sensor and hold it for five seconds until the LED indicator flashes three times. Then release the button and wait till pairing is done. Pairing the device, put it as close to the Zigbee bridge as you can. As you see on the Evelink app, one device is found. I tap on next as I do not want to add other Zigbee devices. The sensor is paired with Evelink app. You can see the sensor on the main page or by tapping or selecting the Zigbee bridge you see the device as a sub device. We have the battery status of the device. You will get a notification of low battery level when the battery life gets 10% remaining. I tap on three dots at the top right corner of the screen. In this page, you can change the name of your device. 
do not forget to tap on save. You can change temperature unit and you see that we have temperature, current temperature and current humidity. If temperature or humidity is changed, it immediately shows that, the real current. If you have Son of IP camera paired with your Evelink app, you can sync the camera with your temperature and humidity sensor. By selecting the device, at the top right corner of the screen, tap on camera icon. In this page, you will see the list of your cameras. Select the camera you want to pair and tap on save. Let's create a scene to see how you can simply use this device. On Evelink app, I tap on scene at the bottom of the screen, tap on add. In if section, I tap on add, select a smart device, choose temperature and humidity sensor. I want to have a scene based on humidity. The first item is humidity greater or equal than. The second parameter is humidity less or equal than. I select the first one. I turn it on or let's say enable it. Then tap on humidity greater or equal than. Here we must enter a value. Let's enter 85%. Tap on save. Save again again I tap on save you can add temperature too in then section I tap on add select a smart device choose wall plug and choose on tap on save effective period I disable 24 hours as I want to have this scene enabled all time Tap on save, again tap on save, set a name for it. Easily scene is created. If humidity reaches or goes above 85%, wall plug is set to on. You can delete the device easily by pressing the reset button for five seconds until the LED indicator flashes three times. Another way of deleting or let's say unpairing the device is navigating to Evelink app, selecting the temperature sensor, tap on three dots at the top right corner of the screen and tap on delete device. Confirm. Device is unpaired. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.